The idea of passive income. Have you ever thought about creating wealth without owning a business? It's a question that sparks curiosity, doesn't it? Welcome to the fascinating world of passive income, where you can grow your wealth without the daily grind and challenges of managing a business. The concept of passive income may sound like a dream, but it's a reality that many people are living today. Think of it as a stream of earnings that requires minimal to no effort on your part to maintain, a sort of set it and forget it way to generate income. While there are numerous ways to earn passive income, today we're focusing on one of the most effective methods, creating wealth through equity investments. Now you might be thinking, equity investments? That sounds complicated, but don't worry. We're going to break it down into simple, easy to understand steps. Equity investments involve purchasing shares of stock in a company. When you buy these shares, you essentially become a part owner of that company. As the company grows and profits, so does your investment. The best part, you're not clocking in nine to five. You're not dealing with employee issues or inventory management. Instead, you're letting your money work for you. You're leveraging the hard work and expertise of others to grow your wealth. This strategy is not about quick wins or get rich quick schemes. It's about long-term growth, financial security, and building a sustainable income stream that can give you the freedom to live life on your own terms. Whether you're aiming for early retirement, looking to fund your children's education, or simply want to increase your savings, equity investments can be a powerful tool in your financial arsenal. But like any financial venture, equity investments come with their own set of risks. That's why it's crucial to educate yourself, do your research, and make informed decisions. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to create wealth through equity investments and enjoy the benefits of passive income. So, let's dive in and explore the business of not owning a business. Let's discover the power of passive income through equity investments. So, what exactly is equity investment? Well, let's break it down. Think of equity investment as buying a slice of a business. You're not starting your own company, but rather you're purchasing a portion of an existing one. This portion is often referred to as a share or stock. When you buy a company's stock, you're essentially becoming a part owner of that company, however small your slice may be. But what does this ownership mean for you as an investor? Two words, potential growth. This growth comes in two primary forms, dividends and increase in share price. Let's get into these a bit. Dividends are a portion of a company's earnings that are distributed to its shareholders. They're a way for companies to share their success with the people who own a piece of them. Not all companies issue dividends, but those that do could provide a steady stream of income for investors. Then we have the increase in share price. Over time, if a company performs well, the price of its stock rises. So the slice you bought could be worth more than what you initially paid for it. This difference in value is called a capital gain. When you sell your shares for more than you bought them for, you're realizing these gains. Now it's important to remember that equity investment comes with risk. Just as a company's stock can increase in value, it can also decrease. So while there's potential for high returns, there's also potential for loss. Remember, equity investment isn't about quick wins. It's about long-term growth. It's about becoming a part owner in a company and sharing in its success over time. It's about putting your money to work for you instead of you working for your money. Now that we understand what equity investment is, let's dive into how it can be used to create wealth. Moving on to the next concept, you might wonder, why is equity investment a smart choice for passive income? Here's why. When you invest in a company's equity, you are banking on its potential for growth. This growth could be reflected in the price of the shares you own and the dividends the company distributes. Your income from equity investment is largely passive because once you've done your research and made your investments, you don't need to do much more. The company's management and employees do the work and you, as a shareholder, reap the benefits. This is why many investors choose equity investments as a part of their strategy to achieve financial independence. It's a way to make your money work for you rather than the other way around. Now, remember, 
While the potential for high returns is there, so is the potential for loss. It's essential to balance your investment portfolio and not put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is key. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on passive income and equity investments. Stay tuned as we delve into how to get started with equity investments in the next scene. Getting started with equity investments might sound intimidating, but it's actually quite simple. The first step is to do your homework. This involves researching potential investments, gauging the health of a company, and understanding its future prospects. You can use tools like financial news, annual reports, and market analysis to guide your decision-making. Next, you'll need to open a brokerage account. This is like your bank account, but for buying and selling stocks. There are plenty of options out there, from online platforms to traditional brokerages. Choose one that best suits your needs. Some offer a range of services, including financial advice and automated investing, while others might be more streamlined and cost-effective. Once your account is open, it's time to buy shares. But don't just dive in headfirst. Consider your financial goals and risk tolerance. Are you in it for the long haul, or are you looking for quick returns? Are you comfortable with the possibility of losing some money, or do you prefer a safer bet? Your answers will help you decide how many shares to buy and of which companies. Now this is where it gets exciting. When you buy shares, you're essentially buying a piece of a company, making you a part owner. The more shares you have, the bigger your slice of the pie. As the company makes money, so do you. If the company's value goes up, the value of your shares goes up too. And if the company pays dividends, you'll get a share of those too. That's passive income in action. And hey, while we're here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's a small click for you, but it means the world to us. Plus, you'll get notified whenever we post new content to help you on your investing journey. With your brokerage account set up and your first shares purchased, you're well on your way to creating wealth through equity investments. Managing your equity investments is an important part of the wealth creation process. As you embark on this journey of wealth creation, it's important to remember that investing is not a set it and forget it activity. Think of it as a garden that needs regular attention and care. Now let's dive into how you can effectively manage your equity investments. One of the key aspects of managing your investments is regular review. This doesn't mean you have to check your portfolio every single day. That could lead to unnecessary stress and impulsive decisions. Instead, set a schedule to review your investments. This could be monthly, quarterly, or even annually, depending on your comfort level and the nature of your investments. During these reviews, you're not only checking the performance of your investments, you're also looking for any changes that might affect your investment strategy. This could be things like significant changes in a company's leadership, shifts in the economy, or new laws that could impact the industry. Another crucial part of managing your equity investments is making adjustments as needed. This could mean selling stocks that are underperforming or buying more of those that are doing well. But remember, don't make decisions based on short-term fluctuations always keep your long-term goals in mind. Next, let's talk about diversification. It's an investment strategy that involves spreading your investments across various assets to reduce risk. Imagine putting all your eggs in one basket. If the basket falls, all your eggs break. But if you spread your eggs across different baskets, the risk of losing them all reduces significantly. That's the principle of diversification. Lastly, risk management is vital. Every investment comes with a degree of risk. The trick is to find a balance where you're comfortable with the level of risk relative to the potential returns. This could mean mixing high-risk, high-return investments with more conservative ones. With proper management, your equity investments can become a significant source of wealth. So roll up your sleeves and get to work on managing your investments. The journey may be challenging, but the rewards can be incredible. We've talked a lot about equity investments, but why are they so powerful? Well, the answer lies in the potency of passive income. Imagine this, you're lounging on a sun-soaked beach, sipping a chilled drink, and your bank account is growing. This isn't a fantasy, 
It's the reality of passive income through equity investments. You see, once you've set up your portfolio and made your investments, your money begins to work for you. It's like having a tireless team of employees who never sleep, always perform, and ask for nothing in return. One of the significant advantages of passive income is the promise of financial freedom. You're no longer trading hours for dollars. Instead, your money is generating more money. It's a cycle that, once set in motion, can lead to a level of financial independence most people only dream of. But the benefits don't stop at financial freedom. Passive income from equity investments also promotes an increase in wealth over time. As your investments yield returns, your wealth doesn't just grow, it multiplies. Each dividend, each capital gain, is a seed that can be planted back into your portfolio, sprouting into a new wealth-generating asset. And here's the beautiful part. This cycle of growth can be perpetuated indefinitely. With each reinvestment of dividends, your wealth potential expands. It's not just about making money, it's about creating a system that continually generates wealth. Now, this doesn't mean you should pour all your savings into stocks tomorrow. Remember, every investment carries risk. But by starting small, staying consistent, and practicing smart investment strategies, you can harness the power of passive income and set yourself on a path to financial freedom. And that, my friends, is how you create wealth without owning a business. Remember, the key is to start small, stay consistent, and let your investments do the work for you.